Anybody who tells you to know exactly what the response is going to look like is lying to you. But there will be a response. Uh, there's no question about that. I do think that all parties concerned are going to want to try and do this in such a way that doesn't escalate completely out of control, but that doesn't mean that they will be able to do that. For Hezbollah, the economic crisis, even more than the political crisis, has created a situation in Lebanon where almost nobody wants a full-fledged war that would bring down the kind of destruction on Lebanon that would make life there even worse than it is right now. And people understand, Hezbollah understands, that unlike the war in 2006, this time around, many Lebanese would probably blame Hezbollah for starting a war that nobody in Lebanon, or for that matter, Israel, wanted. Iran is very happy to fight to the last Arab. They're even happy to fight to the last non-Persian Shia from Afghanistan or Pakistan. But they do not want full-fledged war coming to the borders of Iran. It's one thing to shoot some rockets at Israel and have Israel shoot a couple back. It's now another thing if Israel does something like this, killing Hania in Tehran, and they have to do something and maybe Israel does something back. But they do not want full-fledged war coming to the borders of Iran. Again, not only because they understand that Israel has some real capabilities, it has real allies in the United States and others, but they are worried something like that could spark dissent from within and make people think, wait a minute, maybe this regime can be toppled. I could see America's adversaries thinking that because we're in an election cycle, um, um, we're not fully focused and maybe they can take advantage of the situation, uh, they would be wrong. And I think that's why you've heard the Secretary of Defense this weekend speak so clearly. I think it's why you've seen the U.S. move military assets to the region. It's why you've seen us work with the G7 over the past few days, uh, joint statements with Europeans. Um, I, I don't think that this is something that uh, um, they're, we're going to be caught off guard by. Uh, it's too important for us, uh, stability in the region, uh, the security of a key ally, and concern that Iran has been fomenting instability in the region for a very, very long time and in a really acute way over the past 10 months.